Today we're installing a ball joint on the front driver's side of this 2009 Hyundai Elantra. This should cover 2007 through 2010. So we're going to be installing this Moog. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it. There's something kind of interesting about this. Uh, I've not done a lot of ball joints. Actually, I've not done any ball joints uh, this style. kind of found this to be interesting. Uh, this is actually a bolt-on. So this bolts up to the knuckle and obviously this comes to the lower control arm. Uh, most of them are press fit. Hopefully this design makes it easier to, to install. We're gonna get the car jacked up, get the wheel off, and then I'll bring you back in. All right, I wanted to do this before I get the wheel off just so I can show you. A lot of times if you've got a, a movement in the wheel, you can, uh, you can do a test where you do three o'clock and nine o'clock. And if you get movement going that way, Usually you have a tie rod that's bad, either inner or outer. Um, and then if you do top to bottom, or 12 o'clock and six o'clock, that's usually a ball joint. Where I was getting movement was when I went side to side, and you can see that's pretty, pretty dramatic. Now I do have the camera in behind, so hopefully that captures uh, where we're actually getting that movement. Um, and as you should be able to tell from the other view, this is the ball joint, not the tie rod. But what is interesting is 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, there's no movement. So I did double check and made sure that the tie rod's not moving when we have this movement. It's all in the ball joint. I just wanted to share that with you before I get the wheel off. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and then we'll get busy. All right, so what I have done so far is I've taken the wheel off and the lug nuts are a 21 millimeter and I've also removed the cotter pin from the castle nut down here. Uh, and these bolts are all 17. So you got this castle nut that's a 17 and then the two bolts that hold the ball joint to the knuckle is a 17. So now we're just gonna go ahead and remove those nuts or remove the nut, the castle nut, and then the, the bolts. Okay. Now I'd like to separate the control arm from the knuckle. Okay, so that's going to be pretty easy. Alright, so I'm going to remove these two 17 millimeters. So I don't know if you can see this bend. Uh, there's a bend to this. So the new ball joint comes with a, a Zerk, Zerx fitting for the a grease fitting. I'm going to go ahead and install this. And you can see it's a 90 degree. So when it's in place, uh, we want to have access at the top of the knuckle. So I think we'll leave it. I'm going to tighten it a little bit. So here we're 90 degrees when we put it in place. We should have access to put a, a nipple on there. So this comes with some thread locker. I uh, gotta cut the tip off, then I'll put some thread locker on the bolts that hold the ball joint to the knuckle. Okay. Don't need a ton. I'm gonna just run these in. And then I'll get the torque wrench out and we'll torque them down. All 
All right, now we'll just set the ball joint on the controller. Get our new castle nut. Let's see if I can find a torque spec for that. The torque specs I found for this nut that I'm putting on now is 58 to 65 foot pounds. So I found torque specs that say 72 to 87 on, on these two bolts. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on. We'll test for movement. And uh, actually, no, I'm gonna get a grease gun on that fitting and get some grease in there. This new cotter pin installed. I'll go ahead and turn the wheel and I'll put some grease in that fitting. All right, we're gonna get some grease in this grease fitting here. I tried it earlier, but uh, ran out of grease. As I pump, you can see uh, this filling up here. Okay, this should be good. Pop this off here. I'm going to put the wheel back straight and then we'll put the wheel back on. All right, now that the wheel's on, uh, we're going to give it the shake test and see if we have any any loose spitting ball joints or tie rod ends. Oh yeah, that feels a whole lot better. Okay. All right, well I'm going to take it for a test drive. Uh, this should have taken care of the the wobble filling that I had in the front. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And yeah, hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. We got some more videos on this car. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the playlist for this car, as well as um, here on the end screen. Thanks for watching.